One person struggles, and we all struggle. One player triumphs, we all triumph, right? Hello, I'm Herb Hrabanski. A Georgia man is changing lives one dollar at a time. In LaGrange, Georgia, Anthony Talley created a program called One Dollar Thursdays with the goal to collect simply one dollar from strangers only on Thursdays, either in person or online, and put that money to work in his community. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. When I do stuff like this, it's an overwhelming joy. People say to me, well, what do you plan to get out of this? And I tell them I plan to change the world one life at a time, one dollar at a time. How do we change the world? One act of random kindness at a time. The one dollar contributions have made a difference. So far, donations have been used to help a man who lost his home in a fire, ice cream for elementary school children, and buying a new car for a woman who lost her old one in an accident, just to name a few. Thank you, Anthony. I'll leave a link below with more information if you want to learn more. Let's run. Over 15,000 bikers showed their support for a six-year-old boy struggling with terminal cancer by driving by his house. In northern Germany, in the town of Reuterfane, six-year-old Killian was diagnosed with cancer at an early age. Given his love for motorcycles, his family posted online if anyone could perhaps ride their bike past his house in an attempt to cheer him up. Expecting perhaps 30, maybe 40 people to show for the event, instead the post got shared all throughout Europe. Working with local police and emergency services, the three-hour event, called Kroc für Kilian, was organized into three separate meeting spots and saw between 15,000 and upwards of 20,000 bikers ride past his house, much to the absolute delight of Killian, who never stopped smiling the entire time. Yes, science! Researchers in Tel Aviv have succeeded in restoring brain trauma by using hyperbaric oxygen therapy, marking the first non-drug therapy effective in preventing the development of Alzheimer's. At Tel Aviv University, the therapy was tested over 90 days on people above the age of 65 with cognitive decline, with an emphasis on memory loss, a stage preceding Alzheimer's and dementia. Hyperbaric medicine is a form of therapy that requires patients to be kept in special chambers in which the atmospheric pressure is much higher than normally experienced at sea level while also breathing 100% oxygen. The results showed average increase in blood flow by 16-23%, to 23%, memory by 16.5%, as well as improvements in attention and information processing speed. It also prevented the deposit of new amyloid plaques on the brain cells, as well as removing existing protein deposits. Deposits of such proteins in the brain are connected with severe degenerative conditions, such as Alzheimer's disease. According to Dr. Ronit Shapira, the testing could go a long way in removing Alzheimer's permanently. According to our findings, hyperbaric therapy given at a young age is likely to prevent this severe disease entirely. Well, since when are you the quitting kind? A premature baby, born so small she could fit into a sandwich bag, will soon be starting elementary school. In September 2016, Darcy Clegg was born at 28 weeks and weighed just one pound, five ounces, via an emergency C-section as she was not receiving enough blood due to a placental abnormality. Her mother, Gil, was told that her daughter wasn't given much of a chance. Never tell me the odds. It was terrifying. I wasn't given much hope that she would make it, but she came out crying. The little girl had to fight for her life and battle blood transfusions in the neonatal unit at Royal Oldham Hospital, Greater Manchester, until she miraculously came home on December 30th after 64 days in the hospital. Never give up, never will surrender. Now Darcy at the age of four has just finished nursery school and is set to start primary school in December, something she's happily looking forward to. I can't wait to go to school and play with lots of other kids. Congratulations, Darcy, and here's hoping you enjoy school. I'm Herb Hermansky for Uplifting Stories in a Minute, and together, let's make it a great day.